Hi, I am Sayyid in Mass Online. Today's topic is Lagrange Inverse Interpolation Formula. In the last video we have seen about the Lagrange Interpolation Formula and I have already given you the formula for Lagrange Inverse Interpolation. And today we will try to discuss about few examples on the Lagrange Inverse Interpolation Formula. So let us take the first example. use Lagrange formula inversely to find x when y is equal to given the data. So whenever you want to find out x value when the value of y is uh, given then we have to use the Lagrange inverse interpolation formula. So let us try to see what is the data that is given to us over here. So these are the values of x. So x0 value is known. x0 value is 20. This is your x1 value. x1 value is 30. x2 value is how much? x2 value is 40 corresponding value of y so y naught value will be 2 y1 value is 4.4 and y2 value will be 7.9 because you have to use the inverse uh, interpolation so let us write down the formula So similar to the Lagrange interpolation formula, only thing is that you write x is equals to, this values will be in terms of y. So y minus of y1, y0 will be missing over here. So it is y minus of y2. So how many values are there? Only up to y2 is there. So I will be writing only up to y2, whole divided by. Because y0 is missing in place of y, I will replace the value as y0. So y0 minus of y1, y0 minus of y2. Corresponding value of x will be x0 next term it is y minus of y naught y1 will be missing y minus of y2 whole divided by the denominator value because y1 is missing in place of y you write y1 so y1 minus of y naught y1 minus of y2 corresponding value of x will be x1 plus you have y minus of y naught y minus of y1 y2 will be missing over here whole divided by y2 minus of y0, y2 minus of y1. Corresponding value of x will be x2. So what we need to find out? At y is equals to 6. When y is 6, I need to find out the value of x over here. So just plug in all the values over here. We will be getting x to be equals to y value is 6. So 6 minus y1. y1 value is 4.4 into 6 minus y2 value is 7.9 whole divided by denominator it is y0 y0 value is how much y0 value is 2 so 2 minus this is 4.4 this is 2 minus 7.9 corresponding value of x0 will be 20 plus you have y value is 6 minus y0 value is 2 6 minus y2 value is 7.9 whole divided by here y1 value is 4.4 so 4.4 minus of 2 4.4 minus of 7.9 into x1 value will be 30 plus your y value is 6 minus y0 value is 2 into 6 minus y1 value is 4.4 whole divided by the denominator value y2, y2 value is 7.9, so 7.9 minus of 2, then 7.9 minus of 4.4 times of x2 value, x2 value will be 40. So let us try to simplify this expression, so just use the calculator and try to see what the solution will be getting. So let me type and see what will be the solution in this case. Okay, we will first try to calculate these two terms in the calculator because all the three terms are not possible in the calculator. So first these two terms. So you can just observe. You can just observe the values. The first value we have typed in is 6 minus 4.4. Uh, 6 minus of 7.9 divided by 2 minus 4.4 into 2 minus 7.9 times of what you have 20. 
next term plus it is 6 minus of 6 minus of 2 6 uh, minus of 7.9 divided by 4.4 minus 2 4.4 minus 7 point 4.4 minus of 2 4 point 4 minus 7 point 9 times of how much it's times of 30 you have so let's try to uh, press equals to sign and see what's the value we are getting it is 22.84907183 so let me write down that value so that will give you the solution for these two terms so let me write down that expression it is 22 point Eight four nine one. So nine zero seven is there. I'll just approximate right like right this. Eight four nine one plus. I have to write down this value also. So separately, you can again put in the calculator and simplify that term. Just observe. I have typed. This is the numerator value is six point two six uh, six. The numerator value is six minus of two. Six minus of four point four. Denominator value is seven point nine minus of two. 7.9 minus 4.4 and then that is multiplied by you can see it is multiplied by 40 so let us try to see what is the solution we will be getting for this one so in terms of decimal it is 12.39709 or approximate and write down its value as 12.3971 so just add these two values to get the required solution check it how much uh, you are getting you just check it I just uh, typed in the values I'm getting 35 uh, 35.2462 are you getting the same solution 35.2462 so that's the required solution so apply Lagrange formula inversely to find the root of the equation f of x is equals to 0 given that these are the values that are given. So what is given is the root of the equation is given. We know that y is equals to f of x and this is f of x is what? 0. So if f of x is 0, what it means? That means y is equals to 0. So at y is equals to 0, we need to find out the value of x. x value has to be found. So if x value has to be found, we have to use Lagrange inverse interpolation formula. And here the function values are given. So we need to find out the value of x here and x naught what is x naught value here so this this values will represent your x values f of x so x naught first value is 30 then x1 the next value is 34 x2 is 38 x3 is 42 so corresponding value of y so y naught for 30 what is this value is your y naught minus of 30 the next value is y1 y1 is minus 13 then y2 value y2 value is how much y2 value is 3 then y3 value so what is y3 value y3 value is 18 so you know all the values just use the formula so therefore the Lagrange inverse interpolation formula Is written as x is equals to it is y minus of y1 y minus of y2 so values are up to y3 so y minus of y3 so because uh, y0 is missing here in place of y you put y0 so y0 minus of y1 y0 minus of y2 y0 minus of y3 corresponding value of x will be x0 y minus of y naught here y1 will be missing y minus of y2 y minus of y3 whole divided by here y1 is missing in place of y you put y1 so y1 minus of y naught y1 minus of y2 y1 minus of y3 into corresponding value of x will be x1 plus it is y minus of y naught y minus of y1 y minus of y3 because here y2 is missing in place of y you can put y2 so y2 minus of y0 y2 minus of y1 y2 minus of y3 into corresponding value of x will be x2 plus you have y minus of y0 
y minus of y1, y minus of y2. Here y3 is missing in place of y, you can put y3. So y3 minus of y0, y3 minus of y1, y3 minus of y2. And the corresponding value of x will be x3. So you know all the values, you need to just plug in all the values. So let's plug in over here. Value of y is 0 minus y1 value is minus 13 so minus of minus will become plus into y value is 0 minus y2 value is 3 into 0 minus y3 value is 18 whole divided by so here y value has been replaced by y0 so y0 will be minus 30 so minus 30 plus 13 minus 30 minus of 3 minus 30 minus of 18 times of x0 x0 value will be 30 plus y value is 0 minus y0 value will be minus 30 so minus of minus plus plus 30 into 0 minus y2 value will be 3 0 minus y3 value will be 18 whole divided by your y1 value is minus 13 so minus 13 plus 30 minus 13 minus of 3 minus 13 minus of 18 times of x1 value x1 value is 34 plus you have y minus y naught y value is 0 minus y naught value is 30 minus of minus plus 30 0 minus y1 y1 value is minus 13 so minus of minus plus 13 into 0 minus y3 value is 18 whole divided by you have y2 so y2 value is 3 so 3 plus 30 3 plus 13 3 minus of 18 times of x2 x2 value is 38 plus y value is 0 so 0 minus y0 will be minus 30 minus of minus will become plus 30 then 0 minus y1 value is minus 13 so minus of minus will be plus 13 then 0 minus y2 value will be 3 whole divided by y3 value is 18 so 18 plus 30 18 plus 13 18 minus of 3 times of what you have x3 x3 value will be how much 40 so which will be equals to x is equals to so if you want you can just simplify because zero values are there directly you can write 13 times of minus 3 into minus 18 divided by the denominator value is uh, it is minus 30 plus 13 it's better you can use the calculator over there it will be minus of 17 minus of 33 minus of 48 times of 30 next term it is 30 minus of 3 into minus of 18 whole divided by it is 30 minus of 13 you have that will be 17 minus 13 minus 6 will be minus of 16 minus 13 minus of uh, 18 will be minus of 31 minus 31 times of what you have times of 34 and this term here plus this is 30 only this is 13 this is minus of 18 whole divided by 30 plus 3 will be 33 13 plus 3 will be 16 then minus 3 minus of 18 will be minus of 15 times of 38 this will be 30 this will be 13 and that will be minus of 3 whole divided by 30 plus 18 will be 48 18 plus uh, 13 will be 31 into 18 minus of 3 will be 15 times of 42 you just use the calculator and try to simplify so better you can calculate this first two and this two it will be easy to calculate in the calculator 
So you're getting the in the numerator. In the numerator, you're getting that uh, 13 into minus of 3 into minus of 18. The denominator, you're getting minus 17 minus of 33 minus of 48. And on the right hand side, you have the value to be equals to that. Into you have 30 in the numerator. Now coming to the next term also, you can see that I have typed uh, 30 into minus of uh, 3 into minus of 18 divided by the 17 into minus of 16 minus of 31 and uh, into I multiply that by 34 and see into 34 first two terms are evaluated let us see what the value will be getting so it is 5.75017503 or you can approximate and write down so I'll first write down the solution for those two terms so x will be equals to so just write 5.751 or you can 5.7502 I'm approximating that to four decimal places less and similarly you can calculate the next next two terms so you can see that uh, I've typed the uh, the third term go over here which is 30 into 13 into minus of 15 divided by 33 into 16 into minus of 15 times of 38 plus you have the next term over here that is the last term that I have typed All right the last term is you can see it is 30 into 13 into minus of 3 divided by 48 into 31 into into 15 it is times of how much times of 42 that's the value just check what is the solution will be getting over here so 31.4602 uh, of uh, 31.4802 so that you can write down the solution that we'll be getting 31.4802 so just add these two values so you'll be getting 37.2304 so that will be the required solution so that's all I have for today. Thank you.